Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of compound interest, we shall be taking two questions. In the first question, interest is compounded half yearly and in the second question, interest is compounded quarterly. Actually, according to DAV book, it was given for half yearly. But for practice and better understanding, I have changed the same question where now the interest is compounded quarterly. So in a way, we can compare and see which investment is going to give us more interest, whether half yearly or quarterly. So let's start with the first question. Messrs. Hina Associates let out rupees 4 lakh for one year at 16% per annum compounded annually. How much they could earn if the interest is compounded half yearly? So Hina Associates is letting out rupees 4 lakh. So 4 lakh is our principal for one year. So the time period is one year at 16% per annum. So rate of interest is 16% per annum. And we have to find how much interest they could earn if it is compounded half yearly. Now, first of all, let us revise the formula. When the interest is compounded annually, we use the amount formula as amount is equal to principal in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. And compound interest is the difference between amount and principal. We also have the direct formula of compound interest that is P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now when the interest is compounded half yearly, the rate percent per annum is divided by 2. So we get R by 2 percent per half year and time period is multiplied by 2. So we get 2N half years. So accordingly, the formula also changes. Now amount is equal to principal in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N and uh, compound interest is the difference between amount and principal. And another formula of compound interest, which is the direct formula, is principal in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N minus 1. Now over here, A stands for amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years and CI is the compound interest. So likewise, interest when it is compounded annually, it is different formula and when interest is compounded half yearly, we use different formula. Now let's start with the solution. So now principal is rupees 4 lakh. Rate of interest is 16% per annum. Time period is one year. And we shall apply the amount formula that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to part 2N to calculate the amount. Now further we shall put the values. So we shall write 4 lakh in bracket 1 plus 16 upon 200 whole raised to power 2 into 1 which is equal to 4 lakh in bracket 1 plus 8 upon 100 whole raised to power 2. Now if you observe R percent was 16 percent per annum. So for half year we have divided it by 2 and we got 8 percent per half year and time period was one year. So in one year we have two half years that means 1 into 2 is two half years. So accordingly if you observe we have got 8 by 100 that is 8 percent and whole raised to power 2 that is the time period two half years. Now further we shall simplify. So 8 and 100 will get divided by 4 and we shall get 2 and 25. Now further we shall take LCM. So we shall write 4 lakh in bracket 25 plus 2 upon 25 whole square which is equal to 4 lakh in bracket 27 by 25 whole square which is equal to 4 lakh into 27 into 27 upon 25 into 25. Now when we will simplify it, we will get amount as rupees 4 lakh 66,560. Now further we shall find compound interest, which is the difference between amount and principal. So we shall write 4 lakh 66,560 minus 4 lakh, which is equal to rupees 66,560. So this is the compound interest which we have got when the interest was compounded half yearly. Now let's take up second question. Messrs. Hena Associates let out rupees 4 lakh for one year at 16% per annum compounded annually. How much they could earn if the interest is compounded quarterly? 
Now it's the same question. The only difference is now the interest is compounded quarterly. Now when the interest is compounded quarterly, the rate percent per annum is divided by 4. So we get R upon 4 percent per quarter. Time period that is N is multiplied by 4. So we get 4N per quarters. So amount formula will accordingly change. So we shall write A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4N. And further compound interest is the difference between A minus P that is amount minus principal. Or the direct formula of compound interest is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4N minus 1. So over here A stands for amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years and CI is the compound interest. Now let us start with the solution. So same things are given to us. Principal is rupees 4 lakh. Time period is 1 year and rate of percent is 16% uh, per annum. We shall apply the amount formula. A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4N. Now further let us put the values. So 4 lakh in bracket 1 plus 16 by 400 whole raised to power 4 into 1 is equal to 4 lakh in bracket 1 plus 16 by 400 whole raised to power 4. Now further we shall simplify. So 400 divided by 16 we shall get 25 in the denominator. Now we shall take LCM. So 4 lakh in bracket 25 plus 1 upon 25 whole raised to power 4 which is equal to 4 lakh in bracket 26 upon 25 whole raised to power 4 which is equal to rupees 4 lakh 67943.40. So amount over here is coming rupees 4,67,943.40. Now once we have calculated the amount, let us calculate the compound interest, which is the difference between amount and principal. So we shall write 4,67,943.40 minus rupees 4 lakh, which is equal to rupees 67,943.40. So this is the compound interest which is coming when we have compounded quarterly. Now let us compare them. When the interest was compounded half yearly, we were getting the compound interest as rupees 66,560. And when the interest was compounded quarterly, we got the compound interest as rupees 67,943.40. So clearly we can say that quarterly interest is more than the half yearly interest. So this is it. Hope you have understood both the questions related to half yearly interest and quarterly interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead.